Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new SBC Fernandinho to check out. I think for the shapeshifters we're missing Corona, Ronaldo, and Ramos. So we're going to see because Ronaldo and Ramos are extinct, nor do I have enough coins for Ronaldo because up there, right? But guys, the new SBC Fernandinho card looks... Pretty solid, to be honest with you. Uh, we're taking a look at a card who is a four star, four star, five foot ten, medium high work rates with a lean body type, but has been massively improved to pretty much use in any of the midfield positions. Yes, technically you can use him as a center back. Some people may do it, but most people are going to be using him as a midfielder, right? On the shadow chemistry style, we're taking a look at someone who has 99 acceleration with 97 sprint speed, which is obviously fine for the meta of FIFA, considering the fact that he is already medium high work rated and his dribbling stats is in a good area. So it should be a transitioning monster, right? Defensive stats is all going to be in the 99 area, except for heading accuracy, which, you know, it's not a big deal. Uh, physical stats on this card is going to be in the 90s area too, which is fantastic. Is he going to be like crazy physical oriented? Probably not because of the lean body type, but the lean body type will make him play in other ways, right? Like the agile feel and stuff. So it's a different type of midfielder. Base card stats for shooting on this card is actually set up in a very good area if you do get into those uh, opportunities. How often do you shoot with medium high work rate of players? Uh, not too often, right? Because they're mainly playing as your main CDM or they're playing as one of your two midfielders. So sometimes they will, right? Like if you're playing like a 4-4-2 formation and he's one of your midfielders, that's when they'll probably be more involved in the attack if you actually go for that long shot. Uh, In-game player traits, he has a team player trait, leadership trait. Uh, passing on the card is phenomenal considering the fact that he has a four-star weak foot with 98 composure. Um, and yeah, just generally speaking, the card looks really nice. I just seen that he was three different squads which isn't too bad. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and complete the SBC and I'll show you guys how we line up in game. Okay guys, so let's see what we have here. Um, Fernandinho on the team, hmm. Yeah, we're gonna switch that. Uh, we can't do that actually because the, f oh, no we can because we could do this. Okay, good, good. We're gonna go ahead and give him the shadow, perfect. And we'll mainly use him in the 4 one 2 and 2 I might switch him to that other center mid position. See how he kind of plays. Uh, ba -ba -bum. Lucas Moore will have... The, the rest of the team doesn't really matter, but Fernandinho will have over here. And then we'll switch that there. That's the one that gets forward, right? Our wing. Which one is this one? Oh, okay. It's a different one. That's fine. We could totally use this one too. Stay back, cover center, cut passing lanes too. Okay, cool. Uh, Guy, we might lose, okay? So <laughs> uh, let's go try out midfielder reviews. You know the vibes when it's uh, defending mostly. All right, let's see this uh, meta team, a meta team. Rad FC. All right, probably gonna concede a lot of goals here, Guy, but we're gonna defend for our lives. Yep, sticks on the edge of the 18 yard box as he should. So with the cut pass lane instruction, he was actually marking that one dude perfectly fine the entire time. Imagine. Does Fernandinho go up for the... No, he does not. Okay. I think this is him at center back, right? Yeah. Okay, cool beans. So you can see that my Ruben Diaz is the one that actually pushed down in that situation, but Fernandinho went to go mark the inside of the 18 from that one dude making the attacking run. Yeah, might as well if he's committing on the attack, why not? I swear when people play me against, I swear when people play against me for like SBC midfielder or defender reviews, they're probably so confused. Man's making subs. He's switching to that three back. I 
was actually him that made that block there. Yeah, that works. A little bit of second man press there. Possession based interception too. <laughs> All right, switch off from here. If I'm controlling him, he's actually slower, so that's why you want to switch off. I'm going to take off the um, cut passing lane on him. Just stay back, cover center. We'll just take it from there. We played a little bit of pressure there earlier. Worked out okay. Wasn't anything crazy special. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know what's the one thing I noticed about Fernandinho's card is that his transition and his quickness is not as fast as I initially thought it would be. Like, you know, when you're using like N'Golo Conte or using Verratti's card, like he doesn't feel like that. It's like that quick, agile thing. Like his thing has like uh, like his defending style has more of a physical thing behind it, you know? A through ball that worked. A through ball that worked. Oh. Oh my goodness. I'm shooketh. Oh, okay. It's in a little challenge. I didn't actually press the taco button there. Yeah, he's probably so confused. He's like, <laughs> he's like, what is this guy doing right now? <laughs> he's probably so confused, man. Okay, next up, we got uh, Tavernier. I don't see Tavernier used that much, but he has icons, so it kind of makes sense, you know? Okay, round two, back on cut passing lane. From the midfield, Richarlison, in the best player in the game! Oh. Okay, got a little bit of second man press right there to see if anything would pop off. Try to get a driven pass there. Not the greatest pass choice. Ground switch upwards, nice. Oh, thank goodness. I actually thought he wasn't going to get that. I was like, no, bro, come on. Through ball. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Richardson's got that physical. This guy's getting involved in the attack. All right, I see you, my boy. Oh, you know I gotta hit those, my boy. You know I gotta hit those. Ah, the track back was decent. Mm, I know he's gonna go backwards. That's why I kind of went in that direction. Thank you, Fernandinho. Oh, almost worked out, actually. From Legron Switch. Oh, almost, almost, almost. Oh, it doesn't have the height for that one. Cancelo. Oh, well done, well done. He saves that, eh? Wow. Uh, okay. Oh, we'll take that. Cool beans, cool beans. Get the taco. Ooh, I like that. That was nice.
Yeah, I'm testing out his left stick. He, like I said, he has like more of that physical thing to him, right? Oi. It really should do like a magnetization thing in this game. Good stuff. If I get that pass downwards, yeah. I'm gonna tell Richardson to do that. Cross it up. Take the strike. Good to go. Nice. Hunter chemistry style time. I committed him forward on the attack like crazy and he still came back. Beast. Well, it's good that you don't have to give him the shadow. Defensively, he's still uh He's still pretty solid. He just stops because he's like, don't worry, my team's got me. That's the one. <clears throat> Excuse me. See, it's good. I think you can give him a hunter. I like it. I like it. Eee, give me that. There we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, the plays are moving. Oh. Sorry, I'm in the zone now. Bam, bam, bam. Oh. I rejoice since finesse. His trackback is really solid. Like, I, I really like that he still defends well with a Hunter. Like, that's awesome. Because it makes the card, like, well-rounded, you know? Sick. Sheesh. You know what I wish? I wish a through ball would work there, you know? Through ball would be nice. By the way, guys, it's not to say that his transition is not good, because it is. It's just not as crazy as, like, a Conte or Verratti. Like, those guys are transition monsters. But this little physical feel that he has, it kind of allows you to do better challenges and stuff, too, which isn't terrible, right? Unless you're Verratti and Conte. Those two are really nice. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new SBC Fernandinho card. So uh, we were trying to melt with both the Shadow Chemistry style and the Hunter Chemistry style. Um, I was giving him the shadow just because, you know, I just wanted to see what his defense was like for the most part to see, do I really care about him being more defensive, even if it's like a little bit of extra stuff, right? Because when you give him the shadow, it gives him the slide tackle, the stang tackles, a little plus one, the interceptions, right? But it's just not necessary, right? So I wanted to see what it was like with the boost and then without it. We were trying him on the Hunter Chemistry style, and honestly, it was perfectly fine. The Hunter Chemistry style makes the most sense because of the pace boost and the shooting boost when you do get into those opportunities to score uh certain shots because the thing is right most of the tackles that you're going to be doing with fernandinho is going to be standing tackles defensive awareness stuff interceptions is already at a 98 so it's not important to really boost those areas of the card right even though he's mainly going to be playing in your midfield setup now for me personally you could definitely use this card as a lone cdm it's not preferred though okay it's a card that you can feel you know, is supposed to be used in like a two CDM formation. So if I'm playing like a 4-2-3-1 or even like a 4-4-2, where he's playing as one of two midfielders, I think that would be perfectly fine because Fernandinho is one of those types of cards where he's like a combination of feeling a little agile, but also very physical, right? You can kind of tell with the way that the card moves on the ball and off of it, right? Like when cards, with cards like Conte and Verratti, like those guys are just transitioning monsters on and off the ball, right? So... It was a little bit surprising because I, I would think he would perform in that way. He doesn't. He has a little bit more of that physical thing to him, right? Which is perfectly fine in the CDM position. You can see that he still defended really, really well. So for the SBC being at 181K, definitely a W SBC for the link ups that you have to work with. I will say, though, that if it comes down to personal preference of having a player that has a stronger defensive presence... Fabinho is going to be that guy, right? Like that showdown card that they released as an SBC. Even before the upgrade, I mentioned to you guys that the card was still very good, right? Um, and I think that, you know, cards that are taller that offer that defensive presence is insane. And if he got the upgrade, would have probably been one of the best. I mean, he's still, he's still one of the best CDMs in the game, to be honest. He's very, very good. 
Um, but Fernandinho is a little bit different, right? He offers a little bit more of an agile feel while being shorter. But for me to have that strong defensive presence for the meta of this game, the height is a little bit uh, nice to work with. But that card was also like, I think, 500k at the time or something. Um, if we take a look at the midfielders that play in the Premier League, we were checking out some other cards too. Uh, Fernandinho as an SBC at 192k, guys, to be fair, is fair value. He really is. Like, if you still have the Deli Alley card, who's still pretty good nowadays, uh, you can use him next to him. That'd be a good combination play to work with. Robertson with, um, with Fernandinho would be sick, too, in that midfield setup. So it's still a WSBC, even though I think I'd rather use a Fabinho in that uh, setup. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today, and I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.